we are going to have a little overview of CNC. So, we're going to talk about the evolution of manufacturing. So, um, definition of CNC. CNC is a computer numeric control. So it refers to the controller that reads the instructions. So, as you can see our machine here, this would be the controller that reads the instructions you put into it so that it can do the tasks you want it to. So a CNC milling machine is a machine capable of simultaneously cutting motion in at least two axes. So, um, when you think of the axes, okay, so left and right might be the X, forward and back might be Y, and up and down might be the Z. So at least two of those axes as at the same time, usually using an end mill as a primary tool. So the history of CNC technology um, emerged in the early 50s. It was developed for the military machining helicopter blades by John T. Parsons. Oops, let's go back. There we go. And the first CNC machines were hardwired. The parameters could not be modified. They were fed instructions with punch cards or tape. So they actually had to take a physical tape physical tape and run them through the machine. So CNC machines were applied in a commercial manufacturing setting in the early 60s because of high demand. So a little bit more of the history. The boom came in the early 70s when microcomputers were more affordable. So and today many types of machines are used. Um, there's milling, turning, laser jet, water jet, plasma, measuring, all sorts of CNC machines. So many manufacturers offer numerous variations of machines. Some are extremely complex, which should be programmed and operated by experienced personnel. Such as, if you look at this machine, oh, let's go back a few. If you can see this machine right here, it has all the regular axes, but on the table, it actually has it actually has some extra axes here. Okay, maybe the A and B axis here, because this table can spin and swing. So advantages of CNC technology, we have accuracy and repeatability, contouring of complex shapes, simplified tooling and work holding, decrease in cutting time, and increase in productivity. Categories, they can be grouped into at least three main char characteristics, number of axes, the orientation, and then the presence or absence of a tool changer. Also, TC is short for tool changer. Post-processors refer to the process by which the toolpath in Mastercam are converted to a format that can be understood by your machine's controller. A special program called a post reads the Mastercam file and then writes it to match the machine that you're running. So you can have the same Mastercam file and convert it or post it to many different types of machines. So generally, every machine will need its own post to produce the code to match it. So even though you have maybe two of the same machine, um, or two machines that perform the same duties, they may have a different interface and need a different post. Now we have CAD CAMs. CAD is the Computer Aided Design, Master Cam Drawing, SolidWorks kind of design programs. CAM is Computer Aided Manufacturing, and it talks about it refers to the computer system to control the CNC machines. So, uh, Mastercam that we use, that's a CAM program. It can actually program the CNC machine. So, they're simplified to CAD CAM software, and CAD CAM is basically a merger of the two. You can draw and program machines with it. Mastercam happens to be the program we're using. So it's got a lot of predefined things, predefined things to fit many different packages or many different parts or shapes. Uh, they keep changing, they keep adding more and more as the program changes. There's 
it's number one worldwide right now anyway. So they've got a lot of different levels for different things people do. <laughs>